In the last lecture, we had discussion on unit impulse sequence and now in this lecture, we will have discussion on unit step and unit ramp sequences and we will begin with unit step sequence. Unit step sequence is represented by U N and it is equal to 1 for all the values of n which are greater than 0 and it is equal to 1 when n is equal to 0 and it is equal to 0 for all the values of n which are less than 0. So this is how we define the unit step sequence un and if we plot the sequence using this definition we will have something like this. Here you can see that un is equal to 1 when n is equal to 0. You can see that un is 1 when n is equal to 0 and un remains 1 for all the values of n which are greater than 0 and it will remain 1 up to plus infinity. On the other hand, un is equal to 0 when n is equal to minus 1. Here you can see that un is 0 for all the values of n which are less than 0. This means all the values of n which are negative. Whenever you will find n is negative, you will have un equal to 0. So here n is minus 1, that is n is negative therefore un is 0. Similarly, it will remain 0 up to n equal to minus infinity. So this is all about the definition and plot of un and if you remember we calculated the average power of un and we found the average power is equal to 1 by 2 watts and here this implies that the average power is less than infinity but greater than zero this means the average power is finite and whenever the average power is finite the signal is a power signal therefore the unit step sequence is power signal now we will move on to our next signal that is unit ramp sequence unit ramp sequence is represented by rn and it is equal to n for all the values of n which are greater than 0 and it is equal to n when n is equal to 0 but it is equal to 0 for all the values of n which are less than 0 now if you compare the definition of Rn and the definition of Un, you will find Rn is equal to n multiplied to Un. So remember this point and now using this definition we will plot the sequence of Rn. You will find the unit ramp sequence Rn is equal to 0 when n is equal to 0. And this is what we are getting from the definition. Rn is equal to n when n is equal to 0. And as n is equal to 0, Rn will be equal to 0. Similarly, when n is equal to 1, Rn will be 1. When n is equal to 2, Rn will be 2. When n is equal to 3, Rn will be 3. All the way to n equal to plus infinity. And after this, when n is less than 0, that means n is negative, Rn is equal to 0. So we have Rn equal to 0 for all the values of n which are negative up to minus infinity. So this is all for the definition and the sequence of unit ramp sequence Rn. Now we will try to comment about the nature of Rn whether it is an energy signal or a power signal or neither energy nor power signal and for that we will calculate the average power of the unit ramp sequence. If you look at the sequence of Rn you will find it is non-periodic 
Therefore, we will use the formula of average power for non-periodic discrete time signals and the formula is average power p is equal to limit n tending to infinity 1 over 2n plus 1 then summation n equal to minus n to plus n mod the discrete time signal xn square here xn is equal to rn and from the definition it is clear that rn is equal to 0 when n is negative so from n equal to minus n to minus 1 we will get the sum equal to 0 therefore in the next step i will write down the average power equal to limit n tending to infinity 1 over 2n plus 1 summation n equal to 0 to plus n and in place of xn i will write n so we have mod n square or we can write n square in order to get the first term we will put n equal to 0 here and we will have 0 square 0 square is equal to 0 and therefore if we remove the first term that is 0 the overall result of summation will not change therefore we will perform the summation from n equal to 1 to n equal to n and we know the result of summation of first n n square terms is equal is equal to n multiplied to n plus 1 multiplied to 2n plus 1 divided by 6 so in place of this we can write this and we will have the average power p equal to limit n tending to infinity 1 over 2n plus 1 1 over 2n plus 1 multiplied to this n multiplied to n plus 1 multiplied to 2n plus 1 divided by 6 2n plus 1 and 2n plus 1 will cancel out so finally we have the average power p equal to limit n tending to infinity in the numerator we will have n multiplied to n plus 1 n multiplied to n plus 1 and in the denominator we will have 6 now when you put limit n tending to infinity you will have infinity so finally we are getting the average power p equal to infinity and this implies rn is neither energy nor power signal because we know when a signal is an energy signal the average power is zero and when a signal is a power signal the average power is finite but here in this case you can see that the average power is infinity therefore the unit ramp sequence is a neither energy nor power signal so this is one important point and now i will end this lecture here see you in the next one